Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks. And somebody posted this file on my Facebook page, and they're having trouble welding this. So I always kind of take stuff apart. This item, it's the shape of Indiana, is 7.18 inches. So I'm going to change my nudge factor to 8 inches. And I'm going to take that outside circle or outside shape. And there's one of the problems. There are double lines there. Now let's take this. And you can see that those are together. So go to arrange and break the contour apart. Then take your outside shape and get it out of the way. Then you can select all this and go back minus front. And what it did, it took that away. And then move this over. And then you can take your Smart Fill tool and fill that in to see what it looks like. It looks pretty good. Now, I know for a fact that he's got 2018 or 2019 because uh, he sent it earlier and nobody could open it. But if you don't have it, you could take these nodes and just kind of delete some nodes. But if you have 2000 or X8 or above, you got the smoothing tool and you can select on the, that line and kind of smooth it out. It's just got some. I mean, I'm not saying you have to do this because I do not know anything about the state of Indiana. Uh, but you could definitely smooth some of this stuff out and make it a little bit cleaner cut. And these are just suggestions. See all the nodes and just go through here real fast. And it'll lead a lot of the nodes. Make a little, little less of a sharp turns. And then when you want to do the inside line, just click on the inside line, and you can do the same thing. I'm having a little bit of trouble. Let's break curve apart. There we go. Now take the inside line. And if you wanted them both the same, my suggestion would be to maybe uh, contour it again after you've done the inside line. The inside line. Of course, you're going to maybe mess up with the words in there. But that's, uh, that's an easy fix. And just remember to look at it and see what your, your uh, outlines are. These are 500 points. If you're going to cut this out, you need hairline. And I would suggest putting them in red, RGB, and go to red. Red signifies a cut line to, to not really the laser. The laser will cut out a black line. But also this shape right here is 500 points. Just double click on it. Go to hairline. Go to red. And the laser is going to cut it regardless. But that way in the future, you will know that it's a cut line because you turned it to red. You can see all those nodes. So I would try to get rid of some of those nodes with the smoothing tool, which is a great tool. And you can see what it's doing. It's getting away a lot of those. And you can do that if you don't have it. You can do that with the shape tool. Just select all those and just delete them. Of course, that is going to change it up a little bit. So you need to kind of watch out what you're doing. You know, don't take them all out. And... Uh, Maybe take out every other couple. And here's like some double line. You'll notice that you can see them close, far away. And then when you get closer, they're pretty far apart. But when you zoom out, those nodes look like they're on top of each other. Anyway, I hope that helped a little bit. And thank you for watching.